Okay, so hello everyone. I hope you're uh, safe and doing okay. And uh, yeah, welcome to uh, this session, this breakout session uh, entitled uh, SMTP New Transporter, a new way to manage emails. Okay, so in this, in this video, we will uh, discover together uh, this new way of uh, managing emails, of sending in very different ways, uh, emails and also uh, we will discover together a new um, a, a way to uh, receive also emails. Okay, so uh, I hope you uh, you will enjoy this, and I hope you uh, you will have uh, you will learn something from here. And uh, also, if you if you have any questions or, or something, drop them down. Uh, we will try to uh, answer every every question of your questions. And uh, yeah. Let's get, get into it. Okay, so first of all, my name is uh, Mohamed Fadli and, and I'm uh, an IS developer in, for, in 4D Morocco. And uh, I will be your speaker today. Okay, so you might be wondering, what is this guy talking about? Like, what is this new way of managing emails? I mean, we already have uh, for the internet command and we had it for a long time now, uh, but the issue is that for the uh, internet command had a lot of uh, of issues and uh, you might have encountered one one or two of them or different issues of uh, of uh, with uh, with ic and um, yeah and also it, it came this this new way came uh, across with uh, the new all the new way that we are using that is order and uh, voila uh, this is the the new thing, and uh, it will be easier, smoother, and uh, more maintainable. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about here. Uh, but before we we start talking about that, we will first um, for the people who didn't encounter those issues with the for the IC and are wondering what what is the difference. Uh, the issues that we had before in IC are the first thing is that IC was a was a plugin a plugin but like it comes with all the issues that a plugin comes with so that's that's the first one um, also in in for the IC the body of the email was maxed at uh, 32 million characters so if you have a big email like if you're sending a huge email uh, you might encounter this issue and you will have to loop in all uh, in, in the body for twice or three times uh, to actually be able to send the, the whole uh, the whole email, and um, also it was heavy and complicated. Like uh, the code was was not easy to maintain, and uh, to just send one email, you had to write uh, tons of code, uh, which is not uh, something that we want our customers to do. Uh, so this 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 new way that we will discover is is much much easier than that. Uh, and the fourth thing is that uh, for the IC did not support all the languages like all the languages like if you have to send an email uh, to a Japanese customer uh, like uh, you will not be able to because uh, it does not support the Japanese language okay uh, and that's just a peak of, of the issues that it had okay so uh, here we have uh, uh, this this lady here that is a uh, Customer of uh, of 4D, and uh, she's using uh, 4D uh, 4D application to manage things at her company. And a big part of his of her uh, like uh, use case is uh, related to email. And uh, it might be the case for for a lot of of you around the world. And uh, we're here to actually discover how to overcome this because. Um, we want to give you an easier way to do all of this. Okay, so this is your lucky day. We uh, we got it all here, and we will uh, learn together how to do it. Okay, so the SMTP new transporter uh, or the SMTP tr transporter uh, in general is actually an abbreviation for uh, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Okay, so what it what it does is that in general what what it is is that it's uh, a server. Or a transporter that will uh, communicate between, like, will carry the email between from this 
uh, from the first user to the second user, this one here to this one here. And they will go through, of course, the server, this uh, SMTP server, okay? So just briefly, how, we, how it works is that this server over here is always listening to people who want to connect. And um, like if we, we have, for example, this, this uh, user here that wants to send this email, what it will do is that it will send uh, the like uh, it will ask for 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 the server to give him the permission to connect to one of his ports, and uh, once like b because the server is always listening, uh, once it it receives this, it will open the 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 port for him if he's eligible to to do, and uh, it will once the port is open. Uh, the email will be sent from the user to the server and then the server will dispatch it to all the users that should receive the email. It's really that easy, okay? So uh, the key points here uh, to, to keep from, from all of this are uh, that we need a server and we need uh, an email that will be uh, transferred, okay? So first things first, we need to create our server. Uh, the server that we will create uh, using 4D or the transport that we will, the server that we will connect to and we will create a transporter that will send the data. So we connect to the server uh, using these, these simple uh, lines here. So one first thing is that we create a new object that we will call server. Okay? And uh, this uh, object will receive parameters uh, like the host, of course, because we need to know which one of the servers that we are using. So this is the server. For my case, I'm using Exchange. Uh, then we uh, specify the ports that we need to, to use. Uh, in my case, it's uh, 587. Uh, generally, in SMTP, it's uh, 587. But if you have like, uh, if you are managing your own uh, SMTP server and you change that, that's up to you. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, this is this is not obligatory to to put here. Uh, so if you don't put it, uh, 4D will uh, by default use five eight seven. So you can uh, just ignore this line if you you don't want to use it. Uh, the third thing is we need the user, uh, of course, because we the server needs to be secured a bit. So not not everyone just starts sending things uh, via the server, so we need a user and a password, okay? Uh, once we have all this in our object, what we'll do is that we will call the, this method here called uh, SMTP new transporter. Uh, this just creates the transporter for, for us using the information from the server. So it will, in a way, connect to this server, okay? So now that we have a connection to our server, we need uh, the next thing is the, the emails. Ah, yeah. Before that, uh, I I had I need to talk to you about a little thing that is uh, the log files. If you want to uh, like have uh, more information uh, of like everything that you receive, like you sent, not you received everything that you sent, you need to uh, um, put the log files. Uh, there is two ways to, to do that. Either by uh, using the log files from the 4D server. Uh, if you uh, like click on the, the log files, you can you can receive the, all the logs there, uh, of the whole application. And if you want just uh, the logs from the email uh, server, uh, you can add it here uh, by adding server.log file and uh, give it uh, the the path to the to the file that you want to uh, write in okay uh, and this is an example of the the output of that file is that you receive the information all the informations regarding the this exchange between uh, you as a client and the server uh, for example here we have connected to exchange.4d.com uh, we are connected and then the session the GLS session started. Uh, after that, we ha we have here like the information of the the email uh, that like who's receiving, who's gonna receive the email, and uh, the actual body of the email here. 
uh, like down below. Okay. So, as I said, now that we have the server, uh, the next thing is uh, the email. We, we talked about the two things that we need, which are the server and the email. Now that we're done with the server, we need our email. We need to create our email. Okay. So, the email uh, or the email object is pretty easy as well. What we do is that uh, we create a new object and we give it like like all the emails that we want to send. We need to know who's sending the email, uh, who are we sending it to, uh, the subject of the email, and the text, the body of the email. Okay, so uh, from we we add just mail dot from and we give it who's sending the email. For for this case, I'm using no reply arbus 4dcom who's gonna receive the email that is me uh, and if we want to add a carbon copy or a bcc also we can use them um, but those are not like uh, important like or mandatory uh, the subject uh, the email subject and the text body this is just a plain text that we can use here okay uh, okay, let's hop to a little demonstration here. Uh, I will not just I will not run the code or something. I will just show you here in 4D how it is. Uh, so it's pretty much the same. Uh, here I created my transporter, and then um, here I created a new object that I gave uh, the from, and I received the email, the details of who is going to receive the email. Uh, from uh, the, the form that uh, I used and uh, the subject also from the my, my database and I created here uh, a little text body uh, with some variables okay and then I used transporter dot send uh, email so I'm basically telling the transporter to send this email and that's all and uh, of course this variable here status will uh, receive the status of the email if it was sent or not we'll see this uh, later in the, the next uh, uh, demonstration okay okay so uh, the lady here has uh, has like has a point like what if she wants to send the uh, pictures or wants to make her email more uh, um, stylish or professional uh, this is where it come, where HTML body comes okay? So we have here an example of, of the HTML of, uh, of an HTML file. What you need to uh, remember from, from this is that we can use the 4D tags. Uh, if you're familiar with them, that's okay. That's that's good. If you're not, that's okay. They're pretty easy. Uh, you can learn from them in the talk center. It's it's very very easy. Uh, the the thing that you need to remember from from all of this is uh, this this CID. The CID, you need to remember it. Uh, we use it for images. Just keep it in your mind for now, and later we will we'll understand more what it is, okay? Okay, uh, we'll hop directly to the demonstration. Uh, okay, I will jump to uh, my demonstration here. Mm, this is it. Okay, so uh, here I have uh, this little uh, demonstration or this little database that I use uh, which has like some customers here and uh, if I choose a customer that I want to send like this database uh, in general just quickly is uh, let's say it's a database for for an event planner and uh, they need to send emails to their customers when there is a new event okay so for example I want to send an email to this customer here who is me actually so I click on him and click send email then I will see all the events that are upcoming and yeah I have here information about them like the description the, a little picture here and the, a date and of course here is the, the subject and also each event uh, like is linked to a couple of speakers like there, there are speakers that we need that we need for for this event and we that we send also with the email okay uh, so yeah, once I have all of this, like once I, I clicked on who's the person that I want to send the email to and which event that I want to let them know about, I click on send. Okay, so the magic actually happens here in this, uh, this method, send email HTML. 
what this method does is uh, it's, it basically does everything that we talked about before. Uh, so I, I, I receive uh, the details here uh, from, from before, from all the, the informations here. Uh, and I create my transporter uh, here. I create it. And then um, I create a new object that I call email. Uh, which I will give give, give uh, the from who will uh, send the email uh, the to who will receive the email uh, that is the the customer that I selected on the list dot the email and the subject that is uh, details dot event the event that I selected dot subject now here is the important part okay. Uh, now we will get this text uh, from uh, the files that I have in the, the resource folder. I call it notification email .html, Okay. Uh, this HTML file will, uh, is uh, the file that I showed you before in the picture, and they got a lot of information and uh, some style and stuff. Just so I can demonstrate this this part to you. No, now uh, this is uh, another important part is uh, dot. Uh, attachments. Attachments uh, are um, we will put a, a collection here where we can put all the attachments that we need. Uh, attachments are used in two two, two ways. Uh, if we need to send the file with the email as an attachment, like you can click on it and download it and stuff, or uh, as pictures inside the email. Like if you want your email with uh, little pictures in the the background or uh, here and there in the email. Okay. So uh, here I, I created a collection and I will loop in uh, this, the event.speakers. So all the speakers that I had, I will loop uh, in that uh, collection. And I will, uh, what I will do is that I will get the picture of all the speakers. Um, so I use here picture to blob to get the blob of the picture. And next I use email.attachments and uh, the iteration that I'm in and I use mail new attachment. What mail new attachment uh, gets as, uh, as information is the blob of the, ima the image or the file, uh, a name, and this part here is the CID, uh, all this part, speaker plus this, this thing here. CID is, think of it as an ID of this picture. Okay, or this attachment. Uh, how, how we can use it is that, like I told you before, uh, if you remembered from, from the slide, uh, in the HTML file, we have the source where we gave the CID of uh, this part. So it should be uh, unique, so we don't have a mix between the pictures that we have or the files that we have. And uh, then we can use it. Here I, I just gave it speaker plus uh, the UID of, of the, the speaker. So it, it should be unique right now. Okay, so once my uh, method loops on, on all of uh, my speakers, now I will uh, also get the picture of the event, this picture right here. And uh, I will also put it in the, in the attachment uh, as event, okay? Now I will call this method called uh, process for the tag, uh, which I will give uh, the text input, which is this one, uh, the, the raw HTML file that we received from the resource folder. And I will give it also the details uh, that I received from my, uh, my whole uh, form. And it will give me as an output, the text output. The text output will be the HTML file uh, but processed and without all the variables. Now all the variables are processed and are actual data now. Okay, so now what I received here in the, the output is an HTML file, but just with all the variables uh, processed. Okay, so uh, this text output is what I will give to uh, email.html body. That's what I will add here. And then uh, I will send uh, my email. That's really that simple, okay? So I, again, I call here 
my transporter and I tell him to send this email. Okay, so I'm waiting now for, for the email to send uh, and it's sent. We can see the status here. That is uh, success uh, equals true. So if, if we had an issue here or something, we will have success false. And uh, then we uh, we can also have uh, the information of what, what, what wrong happened. Okay, so I will just uh, leave this here and we can check our email that we received. So here is the email. We can see here the picture of the event and the little information in here, uh, the title. Also, here is the invitation to event and the, the subject and also the speakers that we looped on and here are the pictures of all the, those speakers. Okay, so it's pretty simple, uh, just an HTML file for the process tag and you can uh, send anything you want. Okay, so the next thing is, of course, uh, not everyone is uh, familiar with HTML and uh, not everyone is uh, like have people who will uh, do this for, for them in HTML. So for this, uh, I, can, I can tell you there is, there is another way in 4D to, to use this, is that we have the 4D Write Pro. Uh, what it does is that it will generate for you this HTML file without uh, having to go through HTML, okay? But it's not actually an HTML, it's actually a MIME file. Okay, so uh, what we will do is um, if you used for the write pro before, uh, you would have encountered this uh, this method that is called mail convert from mime. Uh, no, this is not for, from uh, from from for the write pro. This is uh, from uh, from the email uh, the, the SMTP transporter. It it actually sends uh, actually just gets the email from the mime. Okay. And the MIME, uh, we'll go to the demonstration and then we will discover all, all of this together. Okay. Uh, okay, here's my right pro. Close this and this. Okay. So it's basically the same thing. It's just this time we will not use the file, the HTML file, we'll use uh, right pro. Okay. So we'll choose this. Uh, this event now click next okay okay so here is the the 4d right pro uh, interface and um, here uh, we can we can like write whatever we want like it's it's like it's actually like word so hello uh, mr or we will not use mr since we have the civility in there. So what we can do is that I will use this and uh, what I did is that I I created the, an object uh, in, in the background that is called uh, oops WP. Okay. Uh, I will not get into the details about uh, for the right pro. We have other sessions about it and uh, you can learn all of this there. I'm just showing you another way to, to send the email. Okay. So uh, I will call the object uh, that I created in the background, which I called obs wp, and uh, I will call. Uh, I will go to the customer and dot civility. Okay, and if I do this, it should. Okay, here it is. Okay, now I have hello, Mister, and if I want to add my uh, last name i can also put obs wp dot customer dot last name okay here it is it's really that easy and you can have uh, your templates uh, predefined and uh, later like you you will have all here the variables that you you need and uh, later on you just click here and it will process all your variables and show them to you okay uh yeah here we can put everything we want we can also like call uh obs wp dot 
event not subject for example and we can see the subject in here a peek into for the future for the um, one last thing is that if we want to like for example loop uh, into all our pictures this is also another thing about uh, write pro which i'll not go into details of but we can create uh, actual methods uh, that we can call so for example i i call it insert insert speaker insert speakers and i will give it the obs dot obs wp dot events dot speakers okay and once it's executed uh, we can see here the pictures of the, the speakers and also their names this is just a method that it's run in the background and it will show us the information that we need and of course i did not put uh, like a lot of style in here and, and stuff but uh, as i said it's it's really easy like you have here everything that you need it's basically um, uh, a text editor and you can do whatever you want okay and then you can you can send the, this email you can put here uh, bold for example if you want or change the color or like you can pretty much do whatever you want okay and then you can actually send the the email okay so here uh, again we created uh, the uh, the transporter and then we exported our uh, text this text right here we export it as uh, mime html and then we created a new object that is called email and then we called mail convert from mime and we gave it uh, the text that we uh, exported from from this uh, from our uh, form and also uh, we gave it the from the to the subject and then we uh, sent the email here it's it was sent and uh, of course here we can uh, show a little box that it says uh, mail has been sent we can check it in here also here it is you can see here the green part that i added the pictures and uh, the bold here also so yeah it's uh it's really that easy and uh, i didn't want to play a lot in here because uh it's very simple to to actually uh, manage all of this but uh, that's it okay uh, okay so you you might be wondering like uh, when when I was uh, like trying to send the email um, you noticed that I, I couldn't do anything when is when the, the process is trying to send the email like I did not uh, like I did not have uh, how do we call it like i did not have access to the application to to actually do other stuff uh and this is just one email but let's for example think about the case where we should send a lot of emails like a list if for example i chose instead of one user i chose a list of users i will have to send a lot of emails and then it will have to uh loop into all those users and send it and if, if we do do it this way i can't be able to manipulate anything on the app uh, until it's it's all done but that's not an issue also uh, we can use a worker uh, what 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 is a worker um, like just to, to make it easier for you a worker is like it's like you want to call someone to do something for you uh, while you're trying to accomplish another task okay so for example i have two tasks that i need to do by uh, let's say by in in 10 minutes and it's impossible to do it alone because I'm um, just one person. So what I will do is that I will call someone to help me with one task and and I will do the other. And then we can accomplish both of them together. And this way, uh, I will not have to uh, like think about the other uh, task that I need to do. That's basically the worker. So what it does is that it runs this, uh, like you, you call, when you call the worker, it, it, it takes what it has to, to do and goes to another process and do it on its own like it will not bother you it will let you do whatever you want to do and when it's done it's done okay so how to do that uh it's actually very easy like uh, as i said if we selected uh, a lot of customers for example uh what we'll do is that we will loop 
on all the customers uh, selected and we will put in the, the variable here I will put in the variable from the customer I will put the, each customer of those and I will call a worker uh, and I will tell him to actually send the email this is the, the method that sends the email I will tell him to actually send the email using uh, those information so I can uh, in the worker uh, receive those information and uh, send my email so what this will actually do in the background is that it will take all these informations go to its its own corner and does it it will not bother you, you will have uh, access to your app to and do whatever you want okay so uh, we also said that we can uh, receive emails uh, so yeah the first protocol that for the uh, implemented is called uh, pop3 uh, this protocol uh, is very simple uh, we will go through it uh, quickly um, because I think we, we don't have much time um, but we will do it anyway to have an idea uh, this is how I create pop3 here it is Okay, so uh, I create the transporter basically the same way that I do with the, the SMTP. I create a POP3 transporter, it's basically the same. And then I get the mail info here. I get all the, uh, the, the mail info list, so I get all the emails that I have in my, um, in my account, my personal account. And uh, yeah, I get here everything, uh, all the emails with the, their size and their number. And if I want to, for example, get the last email that I received, what I will do is that I will call my transporter and I tell him to get me the email uh, and which email from those emails, uh, I will get uh, the last one, which is the length minus one and dot number the number is the one here uh, here is the number okay so i get the last one which is uh, 2154 2154 okay uh, 2153 so uh, next i will receive here the email so the the variable here has all the information of that email so you can see here uh, the subject for example it's invitation to event uh, when it was sent uh, who sent it the text is actually in here uh, and if there are any attachments you can find them here uh, etc etc so it's basically this okay so yeah uh, but as you can see uh, this this like how we use the pop3 it's actually a little bit complicated and uh, to actually get you have to get all the the list of the all the emails and then get which one you want and like by the by its number you can't know by its subject or something like you you just you you need to know the number to actually uh, receive it uh, but to actually be able to manage your emails in a more efficient way there is another way that it's upcoming that is called uh, that is called uh, the IMAP. Uh, it's it's coming next in 4D also. We're uh, we're we're working on it and we're trying to implement it. And uh, yeah, the POP3 like you you might think that it's a little bit limited, but that's that's the protocol. We like it's not uh, a 4D uh, implementation issue or something. It's that's how the protocol works. So we can use that for now to receive the last email that we we had and read its content or whatever but if you want to manage your your emails in a more efficient way you will you will have to uh, wait for the IMAP because it's much better and much easier to to uh, to work everything on okay so um that was all for me i hope i uh, delivered uh, everything that you uh, needed and uh, i answered your question and uh, questions and you uh, learned uh at least one or two stuffs from from this uh, uh, presentation, and uh, 
Yeah, like I said in the beginning, uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop them down below and we will try to answer all your questions and uh, we will try to be responsive as much as possible. Um, so yeah, I hope to see you soon and I hope you're uh, uh, all doing okay. Uh, so yeah, see you.